Are you looking for the best studio monitors? In this video, we will look at some of the best studio monitors on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Yamaha HS5. When you buy Yamaha Studio Monitors, you're buying into decades of R&D and experience producing some of the most neutral speakers in the industry. Since the 1970s, Yamaha's iconic black NS10 Studio Monitors, with their iconic white woofers, have been recording studio standards, thanks to their unforgiving sonic accuracy. The HS series, an evolution of that line, shares that same focus on transparency and achieves a smooth response over a wide frequency range. The best studio monitors for old-school truth seekers, these speakers are available in sizes ranging from 5-inch to 8-inch drivers and come in black and white finishes. The HS5, profiled here, is one of the best 5-inch models for home music studios, and we've had plenty of experience with home studio setups. The HS5 is a bi-amplified near-field studio monitor with its woofer coupled to a 1-inch dome tweeter and together they deliver a well-defined bottom end for its size with clear and accurate mids and precise highs. The cabinet features three-way miter joints, which eliminate resonances and improve durability. Built-in room control and high trim response functions help the HS5S compensate for unruly room acoustics. The HS5 offers a somewhat narrow listening sweet spot, which means you'll need to pay extra attention to the locations of your speakers and listening position. But once you get it right, you'll start hearing elements of your mix that you never noticed before, for better or worse. Tough love, indeed. Number 2. KRK Rocket 8. This fourth-generation icon is favored by club music producers for its deep, definitive bass and room-correcting DSP chances are you've seen KRK Rockets, with their iconic yellow cones, gracing YouTube videos and Instagram posts by your favorite producers. These legendary monitors, now in their fourth generation, are pro favorites thanks to their solid build quality, natural sound, and built-in room-correcting signal processing. Rockets are particularly beloved DJs and EDM producers because of their deep, full bass response. Rocket G4S feature two-way, bi-amp designs and are available in 5-inch, 7-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch versions. Here, we're focusing on the 8-inch Rocket 8. The Rocket 8's 8-inch Kevlar woofer and 1-inch dome tweeter reproduce sound over a broad frequency range of 36 Hz, 40 kHz. Its ultra-efficient Class D amplification ensures powerful, clean sound at any volume. An optimized high-frequency waveguide provides precise imaging and a wide listening sweet spot, and a low-resonance, ported enclosure delivers enhanced bass performance. The Rocket Line's bass-forward signature might not be ideal for every genre of music, but if you're creating club bangers, it'll bring you closer to the sonic experience of playback in the venue. Number 3. Pioneer DJ VM50. The Pioneer DJ VM50 will not only look good on your live stream, but it also sounds good getting reasonably loud while delivering distortion free dynamics, live stream, or even just record DJ sets. Consider the Pioneer DJ VM50, which comes from a brand synonymous with festival headlining sets and that can pull double duty as a booth monitor of sorts. The Pioneer CDJ digital media players have become as ubiquitous as turntables and DJ booths everywhere, and you'll often find Pioneer controllers between the decks as well. So it only makes sense that Pioneer has taken this knowledge of what digital DJs need and applied it to mixing monitors. Available in black or white, these sound monitors offer 60W of total power from a bi amped configuration. 30W for the low-frequency driver, a 5.25-inch woofer, and 30W for the high-frequency driver, a 1-inch tweeter. Both sit within an oblong, hexagonal brushed aluminum 4mm thick front baffle plate designed to suppress unwanted resonance. Immediately noticeable is the fact that the edges of the silk soft dome tweeter's constant directivity horn and the aramid fiber woofer cone are equal width. Pioneer DJ claims this shape design will enable smooth frequency crossover and a natural sound and, in our reviewers' experience, they did produce a flat frequency response and broad sound field. Finally, a rear-facing vortex bass accelerator helps keep the bass punchy and free from unwanted vibrations and distortion. Number 4. 
IK Multimedia iLoud Micro Monitors. The small and mighty cousin of IK Multimedia's flagship iLoud will pack a punch in any portable rig. IK Multimedia hails from Medina, Italy, the birthplace of balsamic vinegar, so good taste is clearly at its core. The company started making software that emulates legendary recording studio equipment, its speaker line launched later with its now classic iLoud monitor for mobile mixers. The iLoud Micro Monitor, a spin-off of its larger, more expensive namesake, is touted as the smallest active studio reference monitoring system in the world. It's easy to see why, unlike most speakers of this size, the iLoud Micro Monitor is designed to offer flat, neutral response without the hype lows and highs you'll find in comparable consumer speakers. Number 5. Mackie CR3X. The most affordable studio monitor on this list, the full-featured Mackie CR3X makes a great entry-level speaker or real-world reference. Mackie CR Series Creative Reference Multimedia Monitor line is available in sizes from 3 to 8 inches, with Bluetooth options. Here, we're looking at the 3-inch CR3X, the only monitor in this roundup that retails for less than $100. The CR3X has a solid build, striking looks, and offers clear, accurate audio for its small size and low price. Its solid MDF cabinet features a brushed metal front panel with a distinctive lime green trim that looks straight out of a Tron movie, Bluetooth models are available in white. The CR3X comes in a pair comprising one passive speaker and one speaker containing a 50-watt power amplifier that drives both units. Unlike the sea of sonically hyped speakers in this price range, the CR3X is designed to present a clear, accurate sound signature, with a 0.75-inch silk dome tweeter and 3-inch polypropylene-coated woofer providing full bandwidth fidelity down to 70 Hz. The speaker is loud for its size, with a max SPL of 97 dB. The cabinet is rear-ported to help extend smooth low-end, this also means you shouldn't place the speakers flush against a wall. The speaker's low-end response is decent for its size, but you won't experience the detail necessary to make critical mix decisions in genres that emphasize big bass. You'll probably be fine for podcasts and YouTube videos, but if you're looking for a little more thunder, Mackie offers the matching CR8SX BT200W sub with Bluetooth.